Okay, I just got the new release of Ninja Trader, and it's the one that's actually not released yet. It's release uh, number 23, so it'll be uh, 8.0.23.0. Um, I'm a vendor and a developer for Ninja Trader, so we get some kind of pre release of this information so that we can test all of our stuff with it, make sure everything's okay before they release it to the public. So I just got something that I've been asking for for a long time, and I know a lot of tra uh, uh, Ninja Trader users wanted this utility also. The playback utility, uh, what used to be called Market Replay in Ninja Trader 7, has always been somewhat of a problem for a lot of people to use. And a lot of people eventually quit using it, even though it's a fantastic tool for practicing your trading and practicing uh, your strategies and and uh, building new strategies. And it's a it's a tremendous tool for that. But there have been problems with NinjaTrader uh, playback utility in that the assumption was that they wanted on a refresh that the user wanted every tick counted. Um, and so it, take, it took a very long time to refresh a chart, particularly if it had indicators on it, um, um, processor intensive indicators even more slowly. So this, I just got this today and I was so excited about it because this is going to change a lot of things for a lot of traders that have either tried to use playback utility or don't know about it or heard about it and said that's not for me because it'll take too long to try to do what I need to do. So here's if you look at the screen here you'll you'll notice that uh, I've got the new version on this side on the right side and you can see that right here in the uh, on the background of the chart. Uh, so that you can kind of keep these, uh, now which one's which. Uh, this is the new version. This is the version that is current right now, 22.2, but 23 will be replacing it. So I just want to show you the difference, okay? So I've got the playback utility set up on both of these. These are two different computers, by the way, even though they're side by side. I've got them running on two different computers. Um, and I just have the, a, uh, a team your window open on this one. So we're looking now and the, the problem used to be if I want to go to say, I want to go to 9 AM, um, hold on. this is the old one. This one's always a problem. Okay, so I want to go to the 26th. Okay, so this is uh, uh, November 26th. And let's say I just want to go to 9 a.m. Okay, so I'm going to set this to 9 a.m. And now we wait. Notice how it's stepping through like three minutes at a time. I was going to set a timer for this, but uh, if you've ever used Ninja Traders playback utility, you already know about this. You know how long it takes just to get to the place that you want to be to do your testing particularly if it if you have indicators on the charts. So while that's going to 9 a.m., I'm going to go to the new version. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to
Boom. We're there. I'm only up to 1.25 a.m. over here. So here's a typical scenario, for particularly for what we do in our trade room. Say we want to practice a trade setup. And I have a Superdome set up or, or something. And I want to watch this. And maybe I'm going to practice it at, well, probably not 30 speed, but 8, eight times speed. So we'll just let it run for a little while. I did whatever practice I wanted to do on it. And I knew that it was right around 9 a.m. And I now I want to go and I want to practice it again. If I want to go back to 9 a.m. on this version, when I go to go to, and I set this to, and I want to go to 9 a.m., it would start this all over again, go all the way back to midnight and then start walking forward again little by little depending on the type of indicators that you have on the chart and how many now i'm back at 9 a.m here already you still have the option if you want to go back to the uh, beginning of the current day or the start of the time that you um, put on here, you still have that uh, of the date. You still have that option. But they have made this play from selected the default so that you can now just go right to where you want to be and where you want to practice and where you want to um, uh, do your, your studies and your strategies. I can go right to... Um, I don't know, let's go to 10 a.m. And if you remember, over here, I'm still just trying to get to 9 a.m. the very first time to try to practice. I had no option here other than to remove all the indicators and then do this. And it would step forward certainly much faster. And then reapply the indicators, practice whatever it is you wanted to practice. If you want to go back to that practice time, you would uh, have to go all the way back to midnight and step forward again, rem remembering to remove the indicators and reapply them. No longer necessary. This for our traders in our trade room, and I would think anybody that's ever tried to use the playback utility and quit using it because it was just too frustrating and took too long, I think this this could be a real big game changer for you. So we're we're all very excited about it. And I wanted to be the first one to tell you about it. So go use the playback utility now. The playback utility is under your connections, okay? Playback connection. And you can learn more about that and how to do that um in the uh, Ninja Trader help guides. If you need any more information about how to use playback, uh, send me an email or just comment down below. All right, have a good one.